Have you ever wondered what secrets lie hidden beneath the Earth's surface? Imagine stumbling upon a time capsule, not one made of metal or glass, but of thick sticky tar that has preserved glimpses of an ancient world for tens of thousands of years. Welcome to the world of tar pits, nature's accidental preservers of history. These gooey traps have gifted us some of the most fascinating discoveries, unearthing creatures that seem to leap straight, straight out of prehistoric legends. Today, we're diving into the mysterious depths of tar pits to uncover five strange and captivating prehistoric creatures that have emerged from their grip. Let's start our journey with an iconic site, the Labreta Pits in Los Angeles. Known as one of the richest Ice Age fossil excavation sites in the world, Labrea offers a window into a time when saber tooths, dire wolves, and mammoths roam the earth. But these creatures are just the tip of the iceberg. The true stars of our story are the lesser known, sometimes bizarre inhabitants that paint a more vivid picture of an ancient world teeming with life. The five strange prehistoric creatures found in tar pits. One, the giant ground sloth. First on our list is the massive and somewhat bizarre giant ground sloth. Known scientifically as Megalonyx Jeffersoni, yes, named after President Thomas Jefferson, this creature could grow up to 10 feet tall and weigh over a ton. But what truly sets it apart is its peculiar appearance. Imagine a bear-sized sloth with enormous claws used for digging and defense. It's a far cry from the adorable, slow-moving sloths we know today. Excavations at tar pits like Labra have revealed remarkably preserved skeletons of these creatures. Scientists have even found evidence of fur impressions hinting at their shaggy brown coats. But why were these gentle giants so drawn to tar pits? The answer lies in their diet. These herbivores likely ventured into areas with tar in search of food, unaware of the danger lurking beneath the surface. Once trapped, their massive bodies became irresistible bait for predators a grim cycle of life and death that played out for thousands of years. Fun fact, researchers believe the giant ground sloth's extinction coincided with the arrival of early humans in the Americas. Could it be that we played a role in their demise? It's a chilling thought. 2. The Dire Wolf Dire Wolf might sound like something out of fantasy novel, but this real-life predator was every bit as formidable as its name suggests. Larger and more robust than today's grey wolves, deer wolves, Canis deers were apex predators during the Ice Age. They had powerful jaws and specialized teeth designed to crush bone, making them efficient hunters of large prey. The Labrea tarpids have yielded thousands of dire wolf fossils more than any other species. This abundance gives scientists an unparalleled opportunity to study their biology and behavior. For example, analysis of their teeth reveals that dire wolves often suffered from broken fangs and were likely due to their habit of gnawing on bones to extract marrow. These injuries hint at a harsh and competitive life where every meal was hard earned. One of the most intriguing aspects of dire wolves is their social structure. Fossil evidence suggests they hunted in packs, much like modern wolves. Imagine a pack of these fearsome creatures surrounding a trapped mammoth or bison, their howls echoing across the plains. It's a vivid, spine-chilling image that brings their world to life. 3. The American Lion Next up is a creature that redefines the term king of beasts, the American Lion Panthera Trox. This massive feline was one of the largest cats to ever walk the earth, weighing up to 1,000 pounds and measuring over 12 feet in length. Unlike today's lions, it lacked a man, giving it a sleek, panther-like appearance. Its sheer size and power would have made it a terrifying predator. The American lion's remains found in tar pits reveal not only its impressive physical attributes but also its hunting prowess. Fossil evidence suggests it preyed on large herbivores like horses, camels, and bison. But what led these majestic predators to their tarry doom? Like many other creatures, they were likely drawn by the cries of trapped prey, 
only to become ensnared themselves. Imagine the drama of the Ice Age of Bison struggling in the tar, its bellows attracting an American lion. The predator pounces but as it sinks into the sticky trap, a dire wolf pack arrives sensing an easy meal. It's a scene straight out of a prehistoric soap opera frozen in time for us to unravel. Oh, the Shasta ground sloth. While the giant ground sloth steals much of the spotlight, its smaller cousin, the Shasta ground sloth, not of the Shastansis, offers equally fascinating insights. About the size of a modern black bear, this creature had curved claws and a unique, pot-bellied appearance. Unlike its larger relative, the Shasta ground sloth was more agile, using its claws to climb trees and forage for food. What makes the Shasta ground sloth particularly intriguing are the traces of its behavior preserved in tar pits. Fossilized dung, known as coprolites, provides a detailed record of its diet, which included leaves, fruits, and even cacti. This dietary flexibility may explain why the species managed to survive longer than many of its contemporaries. The Shasta ground sloth story is one of adaptation and resilience, a reminder that even in the face of environmental challenges, life finds a way. But ultimately, even this hardy creature couldn't withstand the dual pressures of climate change and human hunting. Phi, the Teraton. Last but not least, let's take to the skies with the Teraton, a giant prehistoric bird with a wingspan of up to 20 feet. These avian giants resembled oversized vultures and likely soared over vast distances in search of carrion. Imagine spotting one of these massive birds casting a shadow over the plains and our inspiring yet intimidating sight. But the discovery of teraton fossils in tar pits has provided invaluable information about their anatomy and lifestyle. Their long, powerful beaks and sharp talons suggest they were not just scavengers but also opportunistic predators. It's possible they swoop down to snatch small mammals or reptiles, much like today's eagles. One of the most striking aspects of teratones is their cultural significance. Some researchers believe these birds may have inspired Native American myths about thunderbirds, legendary creatures said to create storms with the beat of their wings. The connection between fossil evidence and folklore adds a layer of mystique to their story. The science and legacy of tar pits. Tar pits are more than just fossil treasure, treasure troves, they are time machines that offer unparalleled insights into ecosystems long gone. The meticulous work of paleontologists analyzing bones, studying coprolites, and reconstructing habitats helps us piece together the puzzle of Earth's past. But tar pits also serve as cautionary tales. They remind us of the fragility of life and the interconnectedness of ecosystems. Visiting a site like the La Brea tar pits isn't just a step back in time, it's an experience that bridges the gap between ancient history and modern science. Imagine standing on the edge of a bubbling tar pit knowing that beneath your feet lie the remnants of creatures that roamed the earth tens of thousands of years ago. It's a humbling, awe-inspiring moment, one that leaves you wondering what other secrets the earth has yet to reveal. So, which of these strange prehistoric creatures captured your imagination the most? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and share this journey into the depths of time. Thank <laughs> you.